Murder charges are filed tonight against a man accused in that deadly stabbing of a hard bus driver. Spectrum Bay News 9 was first to bring you details about that horrific incident yesterday on Nebraska Avenue. Police arrested Justin McGriff yesterday for resisting arrest, but they didn't add the first-degree murder charge until this afternoon. Spectrum Bay News 9's Trevor Pettiford is at the Marion Transit Station in downtown Tampa with tonight's top story. Bus drivers tell me 35-year-old Justin McGriff is somewhat of a familiar face to some of them. But they say there was nothing familiar about what police say he did Saturday afternoon while riding on this bus. McGriff is facing first-degree murder charges and resisting arrests in connection with the stabbing death of a Hart bus driver. Police say after being stabbed, the driver managed to pull the bus over safely before he died from his injuries. A half dozen or so passengers on board tell police that's when the suspect jumped off the bus heading toward I-275. <laughs> But as horrific as that incident was, it doesn't stop the buses from running today. Although passengers say they're riding with caution. I'm kind of scared for my life, to be honest. It could happen again. You never know. And I've seen a lot of crazy stuff going on, fights, what? drinking, mm -hmm. just crazy stuff. I ain't never seen nothing like that. Uh, it's, 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 it's crazy. I know it's going to be a lot of changes now. But... Nobody have to get stabbed for a life. I talked earlier today with uh, Hart's safety director, and he told me the company is already in the process of upgrading their security measures. They're putting surveillance cameras in all their fleet of buses, and they're upgrading their security guards so that they can carry weapons. Now, I'll have more details on these upgrades coming up tonight at 10. On scene in Tampa, Trevor Pettiford, Spectrum News. New tonight, a tree trimmer was killed while working on a tree on Donald Avenue in the Egypt Lake area. Hillsborough County Fire and Rescue says the man was 30 feet up when a large branch fell on him. Investigators say he was wearing safety equipment. Right now, the sheriff's office is calling it an accident, but still investigating. Stay with Spectrum Bay News 9 for updates.